Hello and welcome to Blast for the MMA. Salam alaikum to everyone. Eagle FC, the organization bought by Habib Nurmagomedov himself. Why was there no event in nearly a year now in America? What is going on? Does it still exist? What are the problems that they have? Do they still do events? To that in a second, guys. First of all, make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. I would highly appreciate that. Leave a like, leave a sub. Thank you very much in advance. And now let's go to my take. Eagle FC had his its last event in America in the um, Flexcast Arena, I think it's called it's the arena where they where they always held the events in May something like it was Jorgen de Castro against uh, Junior dos Santos when Junior dos Santos uh, dislocated his shoulder, if I'm right. Yeah, I think so. And this was the last event that they had in America. They didn't they didn't say you know once hey that's the last event we'll have we'll now I don't know not hold events in America anymore. They were promoting like crazy. Crazy mountains. They had Kevin Lee versus Diego Sanchez. They said they, they Kevin Lee will now fight for the title because they start to have champions and stuff. Because you have to see the organization Eagle FC was just bought by Habib in the year 2020. Before that, it was called Gorilla Fighting Championship, I think. And Habib bought the um, organization for $1 million, which is not much. <laughs> and then started to hold events in America and he made big promises. He started to um, acquire talent, as I said, like Kevin Lee, Diego Sanchez, Junior Dos Santos, uh, Jorgen De Castro, all former UFC fighters, former big names, um, and said they, they will pay them so good, they pay so good money, they have the secret formula to to being the best organization in the world, they will take over everything, like, and we all believed it. like. Most of the fans were like, oh my god, Eagle FC is about to take over. Why did they take over? I mean, they took so many good names under their banner. They were newly better than Bellator already. <laughs> it was crazy. And I really thought like, hey, that's cool. That's really cool. The event went on. They started promoting more and more. As I said, they said, yeah. Jorgen de Castro versus, versus Junior Santos will run it back, we'll do this and this and that are the plans and we'll, we will get so many no, new uh, former UFC fighters now, we'll do all these big things and then it just got quiet. We didn't hear anything anymore, I don't even know if the Instagram account from Eagle FC America does still exist. I think there's only Instagram account now that promotes like Eagle FC um, in Russian language or whatever this language should be, I think Russian. They are still holding events, but also the events that they hold, like not many. They had four events since the last America event and all these four events were in Russia or Kyrgyzstan or something. And like, I think two of them were not even in front of a crowd. Two of them were in front of a small, small crowd, if I'm right. And like, if you go to these fights, you can find them on Wikipedia. If you go to these fights, to this card. There's no fighter on the card at all that has a Wikipedia um, site or something. So from holding events in America, pay-per-use, I think it was pay-per-use there in the Flex Casarina, yeah. Um, big events like where many, many people watched with big names to only holding four events from May to December of 2022 and all of them in Kyrgyzstan with people or fighters that no one knows until now. Pretty insane and I heard many rumors like that it could be because of the war, it could be because of COVID, it could be this and that. Hey look, I'm not a politician, I don't know what's really going on there, but it seems kind of weird to me that that's because of the war or the, especially COVID, like, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're all organizations are holding events. Even One FC has the first event ever now in America. And you tell me you can't come to America because of COVID? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> don't play yourself. I even think that's what Eagle FC said themselves, that it's because of COVID, but don't quote me on that. And also because of the war, like, ah, I don't believe that. I know many Russian organizations, let's take RCC, a very famous Russian organization where legends like Glaze and Tibo, who is a former UFC fighter, uh, many international fighters fight all the time. Yes, they hold the events in Russia always. Yes, true. 
but still they hold events with international like i don't think anyone or of course some people but i don't think many people would care if they would hold events in in russia or kirisan or whatever wherever you want to hold events maybe not in america i don't care somewhere but with their famous fighters you can make Jorgen de Castro, uh, Kevin Lee and all these guys fighting Kyrgyzstan. I don't think they care as long as they get paid. I believe that's only my take. As I said, this is not an accusation. It's just what I think. I think money is a problem because, of course, these fighters in Kyrgyzstan with no Wikipedia site, you don't, you don't have to pay them much, right? You also don't make that much there, to be honest. But still, Jorgen de Castro, Tudor Santos, all these guys, they take a lot of money, especially if that's true, what they say that they get paid more than the UFC. A Junior de Santos earns a lot of money, I can tell you that. The old guys, light heavyweights, heavyweights, they earn a lot of money. I believe money's a problem. Dana White always says, look, if you think it's that easy to be promoted to just pay them more, do it. Why don't you do it? And I believe Habib then just thought, okay, I'll try it, I'll do it. Sad he'll pay them more. Sad that things, these things. And Dana White said, look, he will learn the hard way how hard it is to be promoted. And I believe Habib learned it the hard way because I believe they lost a lot of money and they are not that liquid in money anymore. And they can't afford these events anymore and these fighters anymore. And even Kevin and all these guys, at least that's what they say, they don't know themselves what happened. And they all now gone. Kevin Lee's fighting at, at where does he fight? Um... Oh yeah, it comes back to the UFC. Stupid. Um, Diego Sanchez fights at PKFC, which is kind of sad. And you know what I mean? I don't know if they will ever come back. I could see it because Habib and his manager and these guys have a lot of money. But they probably saw, hey, it doesn't work that way. It isn't that easy as we thought. So that's my take on the whole situation. What do you guys think happened? Was it a war? Was it COVID? Was it, I don't know, Islam winning the belt? Write in the comments, guys. What do you think happened to Eagle FC? Do you want to see it back? Write all in the comments. Like this video, guys. Subscribe to this goddamn channel. Tell all your family members, friends, training partners to also subscri subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, eat your vegetables, guys. Until next time, bye-bye. Blast for that. Eat your vegetables.